Hi guys, it's me Joanna and welcome back to a new video. So as promised, I have the speed paint or watercolor speed paint portion of the illustration or sketching that I did on Tuesday's video and I'm doing this because I did miss posting on Monday so I just wanted to kind of redeem myself and post two videos this week so I hope you guys don't mind. <clears throat> Sorry my throat's a little bit scratchy today, but I still wanted to film, or not film, or do a voice over for this video. So, um, as you guys can see, uh, when I'm doing my chibi paintings now, I don't really do outlines or line art using like a pen. Um, right now, I'm kind of more into the softer look for painting, so I'm using mostly either transferring my sketches and doing the like a kind of a like very clean sketch using pencil and then painting over it. it gives me much like a much cleaner and a little bit more softer look than using my pigment liners though I do like using my pigment liners like often it's just that right now I'm kind of into like the softer look so I hope you guys don't mind um, watching me paint in this style for a bit I might go back and do a few in my usual style which is using the line arts with like very bold black eyes and like the thick outlines and I think I'll do this for more like illustrations so like if you saw my moonwalker my come to me or what's good or my 96 line and 97 line illustrations they were all outlined using um, pen or ballpoint pen pigment liner whatever but they all had the line art done before the painting portion but for the painting I really just want to just paint and then um, outline with watercolors it's just like the lines that I can get um, match the color a little bit better than just having pure black and I know some people you like to use like brown liners or like gray um, Copic liners or anything to make the line art look soft, but because I don't want to waste money or buy new art supplies, I'm gonna stay away from that. So, as you guys can see, that what I'm working on is the little Wanu illustration of him holding a leaf umbrella, and you guys can see that hopefully the angle of when I'm painting is a lot better than my other videos. Um, Hopefully. The lighting's off because I switched to downstairs, filming downstairs, and the light kept changing. And I don't have like a direct light source that's in front of me. It's like behind me. Like I was backlit, so I had a lamp, but it kind of made the whole video like really warm. So if you guys don't mind that. <coughs> so, um, I actually had a lot of fun painting this. I think I had fun just mixing blacks and grays and stuff for his clothing. I think his face turned out quite cute. Um, yeah, I don't really have much to say about how we process. I just basically filled- I did the face first because usually the face makes or breaks a piece for me. And then I did light washes for the hair, I did washes for the leaf. The clothes and stuff and then I just slowly start building up the shadows by adding more darker tones adding more color so yeah <coughs> my throat my throat I don't know why it's so bad today I hope you guys don't mind um please do let me know what you guys would like me to talk about in these videos um I would really like to know maybe you guys want to hear maybe stories about childhood stuff or my experience in art taking art classes I guess and being in an art program in post-secondary because I didn't go to art school but I did do I have a fine arts um, degree from a university so I did four years of fine arts um, yeah so do let me know what you guys want me to talk about I could also talk about um, preferences like um, what I prefer to use, um, like mediums and stuff, and like how I developed into what I'm using today, or my experiences using a particular medium. Like, feel free to ask me anything, and maybe either I'll do like a Q and A type video, and I'll definitely ask people on my Instagram for some e like input. But 
Um, as for topics, I would really like to know what you guys prefer to hear, um, if not, or you guys prefer me just to, I don't know, ramble, and then either you guys can mute me, or you guys prefer just music over the speed paint portions, I'm not sure, so do let me know. <clears throat> so, actually, the one thing I really like is that, actually, I'd like to get your guys' opinion on... Do you guys prefer me using the pink mat instead of the brown background? Like, I don't know which one I'm gonna use because the pink's a lot brighter and it looks a little bit more welcoming than just like the pure brown and the fact that I keep switching places when I record, um, maybe consistency might be better, but I'm not sure. Um, as you can see now, I'm working on the background, so I'm doing a light wash of blue and I'm gonna darken that a bit. And I'll add shadows to the bottom portion where he's kind of standing slash floating. Um, just to make sure that he's not on like a white space and he's just not surrounded by anything. Um, also because I wanted to do raindrops, which you guys are going to see now, is that I needed a color surface so that the raindrops could pop off. Pop off? Pop? Mm, I don't know. Pop? out of the background um yeah because i like to use the soccer jelly roll which has a more like faint white um for my chippy drawings i like to do that because i don't like it being too like stark white so i feel like this is just a perfect um go-to for me um sometimes i like to use the uniball signo um but the tip is a little bit too thick for me to use on like the chippy's faces and stuff because i work kind of small I worked on the 5x7 pre-cut Strathmore paper, so yeah. I hope you guys do enjoy this drawing. <clears throat> um, I'm definitely going to film a few more stuff for Monday, and maybe it might be a painting video, it might be a sketching video, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy this video, and I hope that... All of you guys will have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you guys next time on Monday. So see you guys next week. Bye!